Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Daniel. I'm Grandpa. I'm Megan. I'm Lauren. Okay. I'm Tracy. I'm Aunt Becky. I'm Matt. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. It goes. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of stuff on the farm, but one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. Welcome back, everyone. It's so nice to see you. We've got a beautiful day on our hands. It does look pretty gloomy out here this morning, but that fog should be burned off by the midday. Uh, I think the reason why it's so nice is because it's cooler out. When I woke up this morning, the temperatures were in the low 60s, which is kind of chilly for this time of the year, but it did feel really nice. And the high temperatures aren't going to be anything too crazy. So, I mean, it shouldn't be too hot and too humid of a day. For now, though, I'm going to work on getting the farm market all set up. You guys know the drill. I'm going to get the floors all vacuumed, get our tables all cleaned and sanitized, and then we'll be pulling stuff out of the cooler. We've now got the farm market all set up, and we're working on filling everything up as well. Dad was at the wholesaler this morning, but he just got home. So now we're gonna be pulling everything off his truck and then moving on to the other chores. farm market is now all set up and we got everything that dad brought home moved into the cooler but now that we're moving on to our next set of chores we need to get all the animals taken care of daniel has already got silage for the cattle and he also got grain dumped in and now it's time to get the eggs collected and the chickens fed <laughs> Now that we're all finished with the animals, our next job brings us out here to the garden. Now, for those that do not remember, one of the biggest things we have planted in our garden is red beets. Now, because we have so many orders for red beets, uh, we just wanna give the customers some information as to when they'll be ready. I picked a little bit and this is what I found. Uh, these are the size that we want, but I don't think there's enough for what we really need. So what we're gonna do then is some selective picking, see what we can find. So at least we have red beets back in the farm market. Our first planting of red beets is a little behind as compared to other years, but a big reason for that is because we had no rain early on and it just didn't allow these red beets to grow or get any size to them. This is actually all a second planting of red beets. The first planting did not make it, which is kind of upsetting. You never want to see that, but there was nothing we could really do about it with no rain and no way to water out here in the garden. But as you can see in due time, we will have plenty of red beets because we've got all these rows that just look beautiful. After we harvest the red beets, we then pull the tops off and we break them down into different size groups, small, medium, and large. Now there is a different price point for each style of beet or each type of beet, and that's why we have to sort them. You do pay a little bit more for the smaller beets, but it also takes a lot more to fill a basket. So we just take all the beet tops off, put them in the baskets, and then take them back to the farm. Some of you may be curious what we do with all the beet tops that we pull off. We have tried to sell them in the past and in our local area, uh, we were not able to sell them. So what we like to do with our beet tops is leave them in the field. A lot of the nutrients that these plants need to grow is found in the leaves of the plant. So we basically break it down and compost it back into the field. And here on the farm, we have found that over the past few years when we've been doing that, it's actually worked out pretty well for us and the plants have benefited because of it. So we're gonna continue to do it because it works out nice. Well, it's not enough to fill all of our orders, but it's enough to get people excited in the farm market. They're carrying all the red beets into the farm market and I'm driving up to get hooked up to the wagon. That feels good. We're now all ready to get started picking. We've got our wagon hooked up. We've got baskets in the back. We just need all our pickers. So 
slight detour. We're driving past the potatoes and we want to see how they look. Oh, <laughs> should have brought a fork. This is what we got off those two plants. There's some nice sized red potatoes. These are ready to harvest and sell back at the farm market. The only thing we have to be careful about is when they're young like this, the skins are very delicate. The skins will toughen up once the plant dies and these were an early variety. As you can see, they're already dying. So this is very, very good news for us and the people in our local area. The next thing on our list to harvest today is gonna be peppers. And more specifically, we need hot peppers. Now, Daniel right now is harvesting some hot wax. Matthew is working on harvesting hot cherry, and I'm grabbing some jalapenos. While I've been harvesting jalapenos, the boys have been over here picking hot cherry, and this is what they have so far. This new variety of hot cherry peppers that we're trying this year is very impressive. These are some large cherry peppers, and it's only the first couple harvests that we've experienced. So what's that mean? Well, it means these plants are still young and these peppers aren't finished developing. So although we're getting a really nice harvest and we're getting really big peppers right now, as the plants mature and as they push on more growth, we're probably gonna get some bigger peppers. Well, that should about do it for the jalapeno peppers. Uh, Daniel and Matt already got the hot cherry picked and I'm not sure what else Daniel got harvested. I do see him over there in the sweet peppers. So we'll have to find out once we get all this stuff put back on the wagon. Hey Daniel, what are you picking over there? I'm picking bell peppers. How many more do you need? I need one more basket after the one I have. I went up to a different section of field to try and find some bell peppers, but there was none where I was harvesting. But there is a little bit of an issue I need to take care of. So Daniel is taking my basket and he's gonna go down to this lower section and try and get the bell peppers down there. You'll notice the issue as I move up into the field a little bit more. You'll start to see that there is plenty of weeds in this section of peppers. And unfortunately, having weeds like this in your pepper rows is bad for many, many reasons. So what I'm gonna do quick is while Daniel is harvesting peppers, I'm gonna try and pull some of these weeds out. It's not a fun job, but it's definitely something that needs to be done, especially if there's weeds around the roots of the peppers, like what I'm dealing with right there. Yeah, baby, come on. Ugh. Over the next couple weeks, we'll be doing this here and there going through and pulling out any weeds that we can find and over the next few weeks we should go through all the peppers and anywhere that we're running into trouble looks a lot cleaner there that's all i wanted now those plants will have no issues fighting for moisture against any of the weeds that are growing there even though we're just getting started with harvesting these peppers it's amazing how there is some here that have really nice size like these bell peppers that Daniel picked. But as I've mentioned, it's pretty early for these plants for us in this local area. So they'll continue to get a larger size. And you know what that means? It's gonna look really good as we're harvesting peppers this year. Oh, what did you find? First tomatoes of the year. Nice ones. We drove to the other end of the field and then we started looking out the rows and we saw some long hots. So before we move on to a different section of field, we're gonna see what we can find here.
currently Matthew and I are grabbing some yellow zucchini. Uh, we don't need that much for the farm market, so a basket should do us. There doesn't seem to be too much zucchini there, so Matthew and Dad are able to pick it themselves. I'm gonna hop in with Daniel and get some cucumbers harvested. We've thankfully been able to pick up a few orders for cucumbers, so that kind of helps with the amount that we've been harvesting. We're able to put them somewhere. Uh, we need four baskets for one order today. Uh, we're planning on picking 10 baskets of cucumbers. So we'll have plenty for the order, and then we'll have plenty for the farm market if anybody wants more. We've been moving pretty good through the fields today. The boys are working on our last basket of cucumbers. So we've got our cucumbers harvested. We were able to get some peppers harvested. We also got some of the zucchini picked. Now we're not finished with zucchini yet. There is another row up there. So we're gonna be looking for more yellow zucchini, yellow squash, and green zucchini. Actually scratch that. We're not looking for yellow zucchini. We have plenty of that, but we are looking for green zucchini and yellow squash. We've now made it to the zucchini and we're gonna pick this all the way to the end of the row. Before we get started on that, there is something I really wanna show you. In my last video, I touched on how we got our last planting of cucurbits direct seeded into the soil and they were starting to come up. Well, I recorded that video just three days ago and now this is what we are experiencing. And it's not just one or two holes is like that. As we go down through, you can see every single one has got plants coming out, which is a very good sign for us. You always lose some when you transplant or direct seed, but as you get later into the year, it's really conducive for these plants to direct seed them into the soil. And yeah, it was a success. And I'd say we're looking at 99.9% .9 success rate. That's pretty good especially with direct seeding. But I'll guarantee you, that means there is gonna be a lot of work in here once all these plants are grown and ready to harvest. We've now got everything harvested that we wanted to get picked. It's looking like a nice load on the wagon and we'll get this back to the farm market. Now the reason why we had to get cucumbers harvested today was because there's an order for them. Now what we do with the cucumbers when we bring them back is run them through the washer. And then once they come out of our washer, everything will be put into boxes and then taken up into the cooler. If I'm dumping them too fast, just tell me. Now we got all of our cucumbers washed, so they just need to go into boxes and then they'll be taken care of. And the rest of this stuff can be moved into the farm market. Now I don't know if we'll get it all in one trip because it is lunchtime, so we need to go out and get something to eat. Because dad, what happens if you're late to lunch? You don't get lunch. What a good way to come into the farm market. Can I get a cuddle? Cuddles? Yeah, cuddles. All righty. Let's see what we're having for lunch today. Ah! Oh, looks like we're having Chicken sandwiches, turkey. turkey sandwiches, and what are these? Corn fritters. Corn fritters? Oh. Grammy, thank you, I love corn fritters. So we're having turkey sandwiches and corn fritters for lunch. Just got finished with lunch. I tell you what, those corn fritters, they were a nice addition, but now we've got to get everything moved out of the sunshine. It looks like it's gonna get cloudy again, but for now we got sunshine out here. So all this stuff just needs to be moved onto the dock so that it can be taken inside. We had a little bit of an issue. We didn't know who our driver was gonna be for our picking today. 
Uh, it's my mom. She's really short. She can't see over the wheel. Dad's in the middle. But yeah, dad's walking in the middle and it's a good thing we have high vis on. Every once in a while, we'll get one of the girls out here to pick with us or drive and today it's mom's turn. Everybody's usually so busy on the farm we can't pull someone from another job. But today we were able to do it and mom is helping. got our first bin harvested here. Now the reason why it's not completely full is because this is for an order, 300 years. So now they're gonna run back, put this one on the wagon and bring our other bin out. She drove right past me. We just got our second bin filled up. So now we're all finished with harvesting sweet corn. We're heading back to the farm. Good job, Mama! Ah, she did so good. I wasn't even close to getting run over. She always did say she used to drive tractors. Yeah, she did say that. She said, that. before you boys were here, I was driving. Back at the farm, I just got a bin and a pallet loaded onto a wagon, and then someone threw a monkey wrench into our plans for the afternoon. Not like a literal monkey wrench. People weren't throwing wrenches in the barn. It's just we've had to change up what we're picking. Someone just called with a large order of pickling cucumbers and we can't really pass up this opportunity to sell them. So we're back out here and we're picking again today. We're gonna see what we can find. I don't know if we're gonna be out here for the rest of our afternoon, but we'll see what happens. We'll be happy if we can find the cucumbers that the customer needs. and did a backflip. Dad and I have made good progress. We got seven baskets of pickling cucumbers from the end of this new planting. Now we're just gonna drive around to the other planting so that we can get five more baskets. And that should be all we need for the order. And then from those beautiful jalapeno and hot cherry peppers that we harvested this morning, we got another order for each. So we're gonna have to get another basket of them. We got the jalapeno and hot cherry picked. And while we were out there, we also grabbed a few habaneros and uh, they were spicy. You can ask Matt. Yeah, they're pretty hot. Matt took one, broke it open and went just to make sure that it was hot. And he said, oh yeah, it's spicy. So now that we're done with the pickling cucumbers and the peppers, we're gonna head back to the farm. Now, originally I was putting a bin on for some cabbage. Uh, we got a call from the local dairy. They have calves for us. So I don't think we're gonna get to harvest in cabbage today, but there's always tomorrow. You know, when I really think about it, we are running around quite a bit today. We were over here, we are over there. We are picking this, picking that. It's just one of those days. Summertime is here. I really like this corn. You know why you can't tell a secret here? No, why? Too many ears. <laughs> Dad got super excited driving past this corn. He just had to stop. Keep going. <laughs> Do the cucumber dance. <laughs> you like them? Can I get a woohoo? We've got all the peppers harvested that we needed and now 
We've got all the cucumbers washed. So the last big job we have for the day is picking up some calves, which Dad and Matthew are gonna take care of. So that means I'm gonna be back here at the farm market and I'm gonna head into the farm market and just help the girls out till closing time. We are now at the end of the day and it is now closing time here on the farm. So we're gonna get everything put away. Oh, nice. Cool Crocs, Callie. But you got them on backwards. We are up at the house. Everybody is outside relaxing. We're gonna find out what we're having for dinner tonight. What are we having, Grammy? Beef stew Ooh. and cheddar biscuits. Well, that sounds good. I am excited about that. We've got everybody at the dinner table, so we're gonna get ready to eat, and that means this is where we're gonna end the video today. I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.